Thanks, Atlantis ISS and media clients at JSC, KSC, and Marshall. And uh, now I was in the process of uh, getting ready to put the two uh, space... The, uh, one of the first things we set up was an oxygen transfer. We sent a lot of hot sauce and a little bit of mustard on there. And it uh, looked uh, really delicious. Of course, you can see it's a challenge in space uh, getting adapted well to the uh, zero-G environment. It's a little tricky translating through the uh, station. Uh, make sure you don't kick any of the... Uh to do up here today. We're still working on the rushing computers as well as uh, working on getting the hydrogen uh, vent valve installed on the inside. So um, I think I had a couple wrenches in my hand and that was pretty much how I celebrated today. But uh, everybody here said congratulations and uh, I just want to reiterate I was just in the right place at the right time. Uh, there's many people who could have done it before me and many who will probably surpass that record in the, in the future. But thank you. ISS and Atlantis, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Equipment ready inside the station's Quest airlock, and we'll be reviewing procedures for that uh, next phase. Every computer is computer, yes, and nobody understands very well about what is thinking <laughs> and what's happening next time. But now we fix this problem, and everybody in shuttle, guys, and we are very happy about this situation. I hope. In MCC Houston, MCC Moscow, the, everybody is very glad for this situation. And we fix this, and we continue with our flight. It's good news. Um, the whole, the whole uh, system there. And also if, uh, when that test is complete, we will consider that the computers are up and healthy, and at that point uh, we will confer with our shuttle colleagues on a, on a departure date. We still have in the plan for the shuttle to leave on Tuesday.